the case brought by CC against Ripple is getting stronger. What is going to happen next? Today we'll find out. Secret Law John Dayton, a leading attorney for the U.S., has said new things about a possible settlement in the case between the SEC and Ripple. Dayton said he doesn't believe the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple have had any real talks to settle the disagreement in a friendly way. Lawyer Detton says that the outcome of Coinbase's decision to throw out the CC's claims will have an effect on the Ripple lawsuit. Important to note is that the San Francisco-based exchange asked the court to throw out the SEC's lawsuit in August. In the move, Coinbase said that the SEC had broken due process and changed its mind about the securities laws. After the CC said no to the request, Coinbase sent in another filing earlier this week. Dayton, who had earlier said that Coinbase's move has teeth, said that the case would be heard in person on January 17. 2024, and a decision is expected between 60 and 120 days later. The lawyer for ProExiply said that if Coinbase wins the case, the CC will have to change its anti-crypto goal and try to reach a settlement with Ripple. It's possible that the Ripple case will not be settled, though, if Coinbase's request to throw out the SEC charges is turned down. Lawyer Dayton also talked about the next step in the sex redress process. Ripple action, it's important to know that the next stage of the case is the remedy stage. The court will decide what penalties Ripple should get for selling XRP to institutional investors during this time, which was against federal securities laws. Attorney Dayton replied that the punishment phase is like a second case that needs depositions and the showing of papers like bank records and on-demand liquidity transactions. Dayton says that the SECC feels ashamed of how the lawsuit, which wants $770 worth of flesh, has changed. He thinks that Ripple will try to cut the amount by a lot by getting rid of UDAL-related XRP sales, wages, and trip costs. In the volatile cryptocurrency market, XRP has gone up again after going down for a while. This rise has made the market more confident as traders and buyers look to important price targets and hope that the SEC legal dispute will end in a good way. Lawyers think that Ripple and its CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, have the upper hand in negotiations with the SEC for a $770 million deal. The SEC seems annoyed and ashamed by how long the case has been going on. Even now, Ripple faces a long phase of fixes while the SEC looks into its institutional deals and offers. But Ripple is questioning the SEC's authority and how it classifies trades. They are also pointing out how unusual it is for them to sell to UDAL clients after filing a complaint. As October 2023 comes to an end, people are keeping an eye on the price of XRP. A well-known site for converting digital currencies says that XRE will hit $0 after falling as low as 66 cents. 763 people on October 30. A small drop to 607 cents is likely on October 31. Even though the cryptocurrency market is volatile, these figures show that the price of XRMP could go up. A recent decision by a U.S. court that XRP is not a security caused its price to rise in many platforms to relist it. Keep in mind that XRP is like other coins in that it can change quickly. Ripple is still fighting the stop order, and the remedies part is likely to be harder and take longer than the trial. This case will have an impact on Ripple and its UDAL customers, as well as the cryptocurrency market in the UA. Lucy the Shibber a marketing expert for the IMU team responded to Musk's tweet with a funny animated gif of a dog using a banana as a phone and writing bring ring ring ring. The sure by IMU community's funny response showed how excited they were for SHIB support on X. The well-known XRP or XRE account, Zelsi Crypto Fast Musk, when do executives accept XRP payments? The people who used GXR were excited to see if their coin would be accepted on the site. The X community was excited when Musk talked about new features. A lot of people thought that these updates would make X more useful and flexible, making it more like Musk's everything app. Users say that these changes should make it easier to talk to each other and lay the groundwork for future interaction with other technologies. The XRP and SHIB groups can't wait for X to have video and voice calling features, 
but they don't think Elon Musk will accept their currencies. Musk has backed Dogecoin and suggested that Dogecoin payments could be made on X. These kinds of claims have not been made about X or poor SHIB. Fans are interested in Musk's choice of cryptocurrencies because they may be more than just the biggest meme coin. It's not clear if X should accept XRP or SHIB. Elon Musk's most recent post about video and voice calling shows that he wants to make the app better. People who use XRP and SHIB can only guess that their digital assets will join X until an official announcement is made. In the court case between Ripple and SEG, Judge Nalizators decided in favor of Ripple this year, which was a small win for the company. The CC's appeal was also turned down, and the case against the CEO and co-founder of Ripple was thrown out. In a letter to Judge Torres, the CC said that November 9 is a very important date because that's when they plan to meet and talk with Ripple. What happens at the meeting on November 9 could have big effects on Ripple, XRP, and the coin market as a whole. The goal of this meeting is to talk about possible solutions to Ripple's claimed Section 5 violations. This meeting is a big step forward in the current court case between Ripple and the SES. The meeting is a key part of the case, but the exact facts have not been made public yet. It is hoped that this meeting will open the door to talks about possible solutions and the final end of the lawsuit. To a lot of people in the law world who deal with cryptocurrencies, this date is very important. Legal experts say that the SEC has a very small chance of winning. The process will be long and hard, even if they do. The SEC would have to go through many meetings and appeals, which would make the case last longer. The XRP community can look forward to more news about this lawsuit. On the bright side, XRP's position as a non-security is not likely to change. One bad thing is that the case might not end for a while. On Monday, XRP joined the rest of the cryptocurrency market in the green. People bought more cryptocurrencies because they thought the SEC would approve BTC spot ETFs. But hope for a settlement in the SEC v. Ripple case that is still going on helped the three-day winning run. The SEC dropped the charges against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson last week. It's important to note that the SEC also told the court that they are still trying to come to an agreement with Ripple about how to deal with the charges against them. In particular, the court filing said the charges were for breaking Section 5 laws by selling XRP to institutions. It's hard to believe that the SEC wants to settle the last few charges so that an appeal of the programmatic sales decision can be made faster. Others thought Ripple was in a better situation after looking at the documents related to Heinemann's speech. It was asked by the SEC that the court give the two sides until November 9 to work out the remaining charges. News about the SEC's Ripple case will continue to be important to investors. It would be good for XRP if there was progress toward a settlement and an SEC deal without having to appeal the decision on programmatic sales. Investors will still be interested in the CC Coinbase coin after the CCV Ripple case is over. People who own stocks are waiting for the court to rule on Coinbase's request to dismiss Dive. For its part, Coinbase says the CC doesn't have the legal authority to control the crypto space. For some history, the CC said that Coinbase was acting as an unregistered securities exchange broker and clearing agency. As part of its staking as a service scheme, the unregistered offering and selling of securities came with extra fees. Cryptolaris founder and amicus curia lawyer John E. Dayton has already talked about how he thinks the CC Coinbase case will likely affect the Ripple case.